This is Heliarc welding, one of the most modern and efficient welding methods today. In Heliarc welding, the necessary heat is provided not by a flame, but by an intense electric arc between a tungsten electrode and a metal workpiece. No flux is used. Instead, the molten metal is protected from the air by argon, an inert gas that flows through the torch and covers the well puddle. If filler metal is needed to make the joint, a welding rod is fed into the puddle and melted with the base metal. Welding power can be either alternating or direct current, depending on the work to be done. When alternating current is used, high frequency current must be added. A ground connection on the workpiece completes the electrical circuit. Torches designed for high current, heavy duty work are water cooled. Let's make a weld with a heliarc torch. Insert the tungsten electrode, then tighten the torch cap to hold it in place. The electrode should extend about an eighth of an inch beyond the gas cup. Check the connections on the electric power cable and the flexible hoses that convey the gas and cooling water to the torch. Turn on the power supply and the argon regulator and set the flow meter, regulating the amount of gas flowing to the torch. The settings for the welding current and the argon flow are determined by the work to be done. Put on your gloves and your helmet. Strike the arc by swinging the head of the torch down to the work. When the arc has been struck, hold the torch at about a 75 degree angle to the work. Keep the electrode an eighth of an inch from the metal surface. The dark spot you see is caused by a special filter on the camera. A puddle is formed by moving the torch in a small circle. When the puddle becomes bright and fluid, advance it by moving the torch back and forth, each time bringing the arc further in the direction of welding. Filler metal is added by touching the rod to the leading edge of the puddle each time the arc is moved back. When you are familiar with the combined movement of rod and torch, the next step is to make a simple butt weld, as shown here on these two aluminum sheets. With practice, you'll be able to judge the right welding speed for each thickness of metal. If you go too slowly, you'll burn through the joint. On the other hand, if you go too fast, the weld will not penetrate the joint. At the right speed and using a steady, even motion of the rod and torch, you'll get a smooth weld that needs little or no finishing. And most important, you'll get complete penetration the mark of a strong, reliable weld. On fillet welds, the arc is pointed toward the bottom plate to get even heating and good penetration. Notice the smooth welding action, the same action you learned at the beginning. Move the torch back, add filler metal, then move the torch forward again. An outside edge joint is the easiest type of weld to make with a heliarc torch. On this vertical edge joint, move the torch back and forth across the weld. No filler metal is needed. With a little practice, you'll be able to do overhead welding easily. The technique is about the same. With the Heliarc torch, you can weld aluminum, steel, 
copper, nickel, stainless steel, in fact, any commercial metal in any position. Today, heliarc welding is widely used in industry. On pipe, jet engines, containers, and many others. In the intense heat of the electric arc, metals react with the surrounding air. In heliarc welding, the weld puddle is protected by a shield of argon gas, an inert gas of high purity. Lindy argon is guaranteed 99.995% pure, assuring you a strong, reliable weld. Before you start a job, you'll have to know the range of current required. This determines the size of the torch and electrode to be used. The welding current, gas flow, and the joint design are the basic welding conditions. They are determined by the thickness and the kind of metal to be joined, and the desired strength of the weld. But whatever the metal, strength requirements, or position of the weld, a heliarc torch can help you do a better job. You have seen the basic principles of heliarc welding. Knowledge of these fundamentals, coupled with practice, will make it possible for you to make these high-quality, dependable welds easily, with confidence. <laughs>